The battle going full tilt for success at Plymouth in this, the ninth round of the Grundy World Cup. Top five to count, plus the fact that the riders must take part in the final in Berlin, which we're going to bring to you on Eurosport. We're also going to bring you some of the best action from the World Championship at Medebiev as well. Well, nice little battle going on between Ford. Mickey Craig doing a great ride as well. But problems as far as the riders are concerned, because now getting towards the back end as Denise begins to move his way through. He really hasn't done very much in the World Cup this year. He's still struggling to stay inside the top ten places. And he's chasing down the riders just up in front of him. Can he stay with them at the moment? Denise, I think perhaps just waiting for that World Championship to preserve that jersey. He's not been there or thereabouts through the World Cup so far. But the crowd then went actually on the final lap. Ned Overend coming through, but look who's got up to him. David Baker has made it. And as he got up to him, so they blew Tomac straight out of the back. That was a great disappointment then for Tomac, who'd set a hot pace in front with Gally Ford. Gally Ford was also in trouble. Chain off, jammed and pulling hard to try and free it. So Gally Ford then trying to fight his way back within all sorts of trouble. A great disappointment for the British rider, who'd set such a hot pace early on. In the final lap then of this circuit, 12 kilometres to be covered of this very testing circuit. And on his way through then, Jan Wojciak from Poland. Wojciak fighting to keep fourth place. Bart Brenton from the Netherlands, ridden four out of eight rounds. Best was six so far in Belgium. Then Don Mara. Fourth in World Champions in 1991. Well, he likes chocolate ice cream. I think he could do with some now because it's very dusty, very hot, very hard. They're on the final lap of this circuit. Well, the Lord Mayor is there together with Mike Cobble, who owns uh, Newnham Park, where this race is taking place. But this is the disaster that riders have. You have to look after your bikes when you have a problem out on the course. And getting back on his bike, but now losing a certain amount of ground there. A great disappointment then, but even more troubles then as far as uh, Gary Ford was concerned. Not only had his chain come off and jammed, but he actually broke the chain coming on this last lap. So Baker seizing an advantage, pushing on hard towards the finish. Ned Overend was in all sorts of trouble. Ned had slipped and so Baker began to go away. No, Overend just couldn't close the gap down. This great battling rider then. Mr. Mountain Bike himself, he was unofficial world champion way back in uh, 1988 and 89. Six times national champion and now found himself against a double British champion, Baker. But behind them then Tomac was beginning to recover. He'd gone through an awful bad patch and he wanted to get back net over end. Krishnet also could see that he could close down on uh, Tomac and get some useful points. Behind then Peter Hellick. We had a couple of second places, one third, this man third in the European Championship this year. And behind Gerhard Zabriak. Well, he said when he comes to Britain, he always gets a wet ass, he puts it by getting the rain down. And this time he had three crossings of rivers to do. And yes, he got wet yet again. That's Don Marner. He's had a second place and one fourth so far. Very good cyclocross rider indeed, but right now it's David Baker's day. What a character, what a man. Not only is he a good mountain bike rider, he's national cyclocross champion of Great Britain. Also, last year he was national, uh, second in the National Criterium Championship, so Ned over in New, he got a tough competitor to try and pull him back. But Ned is a very, very strong man indeed. Well, the encouragement then to Jan Weigert to try and close it up because he's got uh, Weigert and Tomac locked in combat here. Tomac had recovered for the awful pacing he'd had in the past. Frischnet then quite happily on his way through. Just happy to stay in the points. His main contender for the crown of Grundig World Champion this year. Klug was out of the race. Roger Honigo just going through for Richie. Looking for a useful fifth place. Spectators waiting for the riders to come into sight at the end of this very, very testing course. And the announcer then, Greg Oxenham, saying, yeah, here he comes. It's David Baker thundering into the finishing straight. David Baker on his uh, rally Dynatech bike that 
Bike Matters special BP Metal Matrix tunes, extremely light, unique way of making bicycles. Rally of God now is the specialised product division at Nottingham under my good friend Gerald Donovan, having made yet again another race winning bike, Dave Baker the victor. What a character, what a man, and he's concentrated on British racing so far this season. He still intends to do that, he's not riding the final in Berlin because it will conflict with one of the rounds in Northern Series. As Ned over and then coming into second place. Well, they call him Shred, he got a bit shredded today on this course. Two hours and 31 minutes and eight seconds, David Baker crossing the line in first place. Ned over in second spot. Look who comes into third, another rally rider. This one, though, sponsored by Rally America. Taking third place, John Tomac, ex world champion, ex Grundy world champion, world cup winner as well. Road rider with the 7 Eleven team. Yeah, it was quite hard, really. But what about David? I to ride the qualifying race yesterday. It was like doing a stage race with all the top riders coming in on the second day. So it was pretty hard for me, really. Welcome, each friends across the line, Yen Vijak number nine. He must have felt the weight, the weight of, Je of John. Well, then, David Baker expressing his sentiments over the difficulties of the course, having had to qualify. John Tomac with his uh, stubble, his new disguise. Looking back down the finishing straight right now, coming towards us is. Well, the rest of the is coming in now, it's uh, Roger Honiger, then this is the man Frischneck in the lead in the Grundig World Cup, just being followed in by Peter Halleck, another man who has got a great cyclocross background behind it. So matching cyclocross mountain bikers uh, together with the, uh, the road specialists as well, but it's a very, very hard course they've ridden on at Plymouth. The final will come up in Berlin, and this is the current position then on the charts. Just showing you first of all the results of the day. A great ride by David Baker, not in contention for the Grundig World Cup because he's not going to ride in Berlin. That's his first one he's ridden in and quite uniquely, not only that was his first one, he actually won it as well. The Frischneck riding in to that sixth place, keeps the lead going into finals in Berlin. So that was it from Plymouth and the Grundig World Cup. Uh,